Hey everybody, we are beginning our new sermon series covering the book of Matthew. We'll start this Sunday and it will go for approximately six months. And our personal worship guide is going to correspond to our sermon series. So you'll notice this week I'm preaching on Matthew chapter 1. And I think if you read Isaiah 6 through 12, that that will help help you understand uh, the content of Matthew 1 better. Likewise, leading up to the following sermon over Matthew 2, if you read Exodus 32 through 34, I think that will help you understand the sermon better. So basically, for the next six months, our personal worship guide will correspond to our Matthew sermon series. It's going to be a bunch of Old Testament background, and if you read it, it will enhance your reading of the New Testament passage. Also, we have our Matthew journaling Bibles. What we're hoping for you guys to do is for you to uh, get one of these Bibles and then to journal. You'll notice on one hand there is the text of Matthew and on the other hand, on the other side, there is just a blank page. This is an opportunity for you to journal about what you're reading, either in your personal worship guide or during uh, the sermon. Now, these are approximately $5, so if you'd like to donate $5 when you pick one up, that'd be great. But if you're not able, if that's uh, beyond your means and don't feel any pressure, feel free just to pick one up. We have a pretty version and then a a more plain version. We'll have 24 of these copies available this Sunday as well. So this upcoming, uh, for about the next six months, our personal worship guide will correspond to our Matthew sermon series, and it's just going to cover a bunch of Old Testament passages that will enhance our understanding of the New Testament passage. With that said, church family, I hope that this encourages you to read the Bible on your own, and as you read it, to discuss it with one another and to share it with those who need to hear.